What is up guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're chasing after some toothy critters. You know, I haven't caught any musky or northern pike in a while. I was actually out on my boat not too long ago, hammering some smallmouth bass on the Ohio River, and I got smoked by something huge and ended up being an Ohio River unicorn. It was a pretty crazy fight. Got it right to the boat, and you know what happens sometimes when it gets next to the boat like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just play the clip. Oh my God, what is this? Is this a flathead? I think it's a flathead. It's huge. Hold on, hold on. Wait, is this a musky? Oh my God, I think this might be a musky. I gotta see what this is. Look at my fly. It looks like a musky. Oh, it's a musky. It's an Ohio River musky. We have to be so careful. We have to be so freaking careful. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Get the net ready. It's gonna break, it's gonna break. Oh my God. This is like a freaking unicorn. Oh my, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. That's like, you can't, you, you gotta wait. Oh God, we don't have a net big enough for this. I cannot believe this right now. This is sketchy, because he's hooked good. All right, come on, get his head in. Oh, 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 don't scoop for him, don't scoop for him. It's gotta be very gentle. Oh, oh! You did not tell me mm. about how to net this fish. That hurts. The head has to go in. Damn! Damn! Why is my life? Why? 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 That was a unicorn. I know it was awesome. Those don't. Those don't. <laughs> there's not that many of those here. It's huge. Oh, guys, does that suck? Oh my. Regardless. No, I didn't. But like, I wish. I wish if I had an experienced netter, or if I had a bigger net, it would have been game over. This thing stretches. So like you can't stab at him over there when he jumped like you you hit him like we got okay with that okay, I mean right next, there next right th and then we could have had him right here kind of but it's just this net's so freaking small for that fish I know I was like the net and I was like I don't know if that's gonna work oh my gosh oh my gosh no oh, dang I thought we had him I saw where the hook I did too I saw where the jig was this is 20 pound mono too 20 pound mono he broke. Oh my god. That would have been so freaking cool to get that fish. Oh my god. So obviously I was very upset. Really wanted to get that fish in. It's been a while since I've caught a muskie, but I've actually never landed an Ohio River muskie. Well, I take that back. I have, but I have never landed an Ohio River muskie from my pool. Now I know some of you guys in the comments are going to be like, there's muskie in Ohio River. Like, it's not that crazy. I get that, but in my pool, I fish the Pike Island pool. I've always fished the Pike Island pool just because it's like where I'm from. You know, I fish other pools obviously, but it's my it's my home waters. And musky in this pool are so freaking rare. You know, every year or so you hear about one or two being caught to dam in the spring, and that's it. I've actually never personally heard of an Ohio River muskie being caught on the main pool in the Pike Island pool that wasn't below the dam. I just I've never heard of it, never seen one, never heard of anyone seeing one. So that fish to me was like it was just a freaking unicorn. Now it wasn't huge, but that fish was probably about like 42 inches, which is, you know, a solid, solid musky. Definitely somewhere between 40, 42, something like that. After losing that fish, I wanted to go catch either musky or pike. Now for those of you who don't know, pike and musky are closely related, very similar fish. Pike tend to be a little more aggressive and are usually easier to catch. I say usually because it's not always the case because I have fished waters before that had musky and pike and it seemed like you caught a lot more musky. But in general, pike tend to be a little bit easier to catch. So I figured going after pike, would would make it hurt less that I lost the muskie. So I hit up Rick from Cascray because I knew he had a good pike spot up by him. I headed over to Ohio. We went after Creek Northern Pike. I've never actually hit a creek for pike before. I've hit creeks for muskie, never done it for pike. It was pretty awesome and things got kicked off pretty fast and I got on a fish very quickly. But all right guys, we're just gonna dive in the video, so stay tuned. Oh, this feels so weird. I'm gonna get smashed by a pike and lose everything. This is a juice looking creek. Yeah, guys, we're doing some crazy stuff right now because we're trying to stay kind of stealthy. So I got light tackle. We only want to bring one rod, so I'm gonna be switching base a lot. But uh, got the little Lures Pro, little Crappie Pro by Cash Cray. And then we got the classic jerk on there. So it's a little weird. I've never thrown a jerk bait on a setup like this. But there are some pike in here, and we're trying to get some pike. No leader, so I'm a little worried about that. We're just gonna send it. Hopefully, get some pike. Hopefully, get some smallmouth. Might be switching to paddle tails here soon. This is really wacky right now. I feel like, I feel like, this is just strange how I'm fishing right now. But you know, we're just trying to do one rod. Makes it easier to walk around when you only got one rod to carry. So that's what we're doing. Screwed me on this little rod. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh no, how am I gonna land? Yeah, this is big. I don't know how I'm gonna land it. Oh dude, it's long. Are you kidding me, Rick? What is it? It's gotta be a pike. On the smallest freaking rod. Definitely a pike. Feels huge, dude. I got a crappie rod. That's a good one, dude. I'm scared because he's probably gonna he choke it or I can't tell. No, I think he's barely hooked. Oh no, he choked. Oh, no. oh, don't. Oh my god. I've never fought a pike like this. This is crazy. At least he didn't choke it, so I think I'm safe. As long as the hooks stay in him. How you land one of these guys? Dude, that's solid. Yeah, he's a good one. You want, you want to try and land him or you want me to get him? Oh my gosh, he didn't freak out. Wow. Wow, dude, I barely had him. Look at that. Go underneath his gill. Hold on, let me get... Uh-oh. You didn't have him good? No, he's slippery. Oh, no. Now I'm oh, in no. trouble. No, oh, no. It, it was barely in him. It's barely in him. I'm afraid to even pull against the current. They're in there. Right, go I'll, get him. You're at the... Oh, no, you hooked me. <laughs> oh, no. Hold on. Oh, it's chaos. Okay. It's mass okay. chaos. Okay. We gotta get this fish. I don't know, but it's like in a sp little piece of skin underneath him. We should have a net. I know, right? I said, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me get some. I can't believe we pulled that off. Wow. Yeah, Whoa. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Dang. Wow, dude. That's a nice pike, though. That's a good. One. Heck yeah. Let's get over here so where we can. Let's get this figured out. Well, I'm freaking pumped. Heck yeah, dude, dude, I can't believe you. I didn't think we were getting him after I saw how he was hooked. I can't believe it stayed on when you dropped them. It's sketchy, dude. Treble hooks make pike fishing sketchy when you're trying to hold them. Because you told me to grow, go in his gill, but like there was no room. Solid creek pump. Yeah. I just caught that thing, man. Heck yeah, Joe. Dude, Get let's go, dude. Let's get mm. These, I hate this size up. Uh huh. They're big enough to hurt and they're small enough that there's not room. Got him? Yeah. Get him, Joe. Heck yeah. I'll take that. Let's go. That's probably. What do you think? 28 inch maybe? Yeah, that's about right. Pushing 30? Yeah, probably close to 30. Yeah, honestly, say. yeah, he is. Yeah. That's a good 30. That's that's 30. That's 30 plus. All day long, man. Heck yeah. Dude, that was nuts on that little setup. <laughs> I didn't like I couldn't turn him. I'm like, how am I gonna land this thing? Heck yeah, dude. Alright, guys. Well, uh first fish is a pretty solid, probably I wanna say 30, probably a little bit over 30. 30, 31 inch pike. Nice teeth on them. Great fight on that little rod. Like I said, we're using a little crappie rod just because we're trying to be stealthy, trying to get some smallmouth too. But what was crazy about that is barely hooked, but because it wasn't completely in his mouth, like we were able to land him. But man, that was crazy. Let's go ahead, let this guy go. That was freaking awesome. That's a pretty fish, dude. A lot of people make the mistake when they're releasing pike and muskie. They want to like rock them back and forth. And you really shouldn't do that. You can like shoot them forward but then you don't want to pull against their gills. So you just kind of like let them come back. But it's okay to shoot them forward to get that, to get that, go. to get that to happen. But you definitely don't want to rock them back. Let's go. Dude, it. Yeah. Ooh, man, that was sweet. Chase him off a little bit so he makes it back to his hole. That's a solid fish, dude. There he goes. Oh yeah, he's, shoot, he just jetted. Hell yeah. I like that. Oh, man, I just thought, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what was that? Oh, big pike, big pike. Is that a pike? Yep. That was a fat one. That was like another like 30 incher. We gotta be aware of that they're hiding in those little pockets. Oh, got him. Oh, Rick. Rick, I had him. What's going on? I'm like really upset I didn't bring any net heads. It'd be game over, man. I could put him on my, I got some shake. There he is, pike. Pike. Oh, he just pounded you, dude. Oh, nice. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Ate the old slug bug, huh? Oh, yeah, man, that's a cool little pike. Yeah, Come absolutely, on, buddy. man. Disgusting, but... Oh, well, yeah, that's a cool little pike ski. Man, they're, when they're little, they're hard to manage, dude. They're still like a strong animal. Oh, yeah. Cool little fish. That was cool, dude. Heck, yeah. Heck. Get it, dude. Two pike skis. Yeah, yeah. That one could have got eaten by the first one, but you know, we'll take it. We'll yeah, take it. We'll take We're doing some wacky stuff out here because, like, I forgot my net head. So, literally, have a crappie jig and the old slug bug. But 
I'm kind of moving it anyway. It's not standing up like how I want because I don't have the net heads, which I thought I had. But uh, yeah, so we're there doing wacky stuff, but we're catching fish, so that's all that really matters. So yeah, that smacked the sweet tea slug bug. I shortened it a little bit just because we were getting some short strikes, but uh, yeah, a little pike absolutely hammered it, so. Heck yeah. I just caught that bare handed. Oh, it's scale. <laughs> well, we got ourselves a freaking shipwreck right here, Rick. Look at that. It's the SS Trihull. How you even get, how to capsize. How you capsize that in a little creek? That's gotta be a pike. That's gotta be a pike. That, that's gotta be a pike. All right, I'm gonna reel in and yeah, I'm gonna assist you. He's not a bad one. Not a bad one. Here, uh, can you hold my pole? Yeah. Going under. Well, that's not a bad one, really. Okay, 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 okay. Hey. Oh my gosh, I had him, I had him. <laughs> Hold on, we got him. <sighs> we got him. Hey. They're a little sketch. They are sketch. <laughs> Let's go. All right, that's Let's pike go. number three, dude. It's amazing that, like, you're catching them. When you told me this is how we were going to be fishing for them on two six inch pound. Baits. Now, granted, oh no, you got, you're not on six pound. Yeah. I'm using six pound. Right. But still, it's crazy. You still got light line. Light line, crappie jigs, two pound, like, or two inch, Just, like, paddle tails. Dude. And it makes sense, though, because, I mean, look how, like, we're, it's maybe three feet deep there, maybe. And we got to be sneaky and we got to be real quiet. And yeah. That, slimy. that is a solid little creek pike. Dang! Let's go. Let's go. What you think? Nice. Heck yeah. We got the rod caddy right here and they are though they're like yeah. especially when you get them in quick like you did that one they're, they're a little sketchy even when they're this small because like it's for one you don't want to lose them for two even these little guys i don't know if you can tell yeah you definitely can tell they got some chompers they still got the they teeth. got some chomps and those will light you up right cool man that's a solid one. Oh boy oh there oh no goes. oh no that's how you that's how you lose an ankle no i'm just kidding <laughs> He's gonna catch a breath. There he, there goes. he goes. Yep. All right. Let's go. Heck yeah. What did we, we end did... up with on this stretch here, dude? Oh no, we got. I think landed. I think we only landed five pike, four pike. Four. I think we only landed four. Four pike, but we. we and then were... like I don't know how many smallmouth like we weren't. I think we hooked in like six or seven yeah. pike. Yeah. Smallmouth five, six. Yeah, it's not bad. So not not bad. a bad day. Not bad. Hope you guys are enjoying these creek videos. I've been on a creek kick for sure. Going to do some more pike stuff. Actually heading to Canada here in about a week and should be targeting a lot of northern pike up there. Definitely going to be doing a lot of smallmouth stuff. But other than that, I'm pretty much going to be targeting creeks. And, uh, you know, you've seen I'm going to get into the carp stuff a little bit. Going to be doing more of that. But for the most part, I'm going to be doing a lot of creek fishing stuff. And, uh, yeah, just going to have fun with it. But, all right, guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you next time.